Hey, this is Professor Perez. In this video, we are going to talk about percent. But before we get started, we got to get out Charlie. He would be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to do some percent? Let's get started right there. A percent is a part per hundred. Remember this, per cent, per hundred. What does 3% mean? It means three per hundred. To write that as a ratio, we write three over 100, three per hundred. Now to write that as a decimal, three over 100 is three hundredths. As a decimal, it's three hundredths, 0 0.03. To help you remember how to change a percent to a fraction, look at this visual representation. We have three and we have a per, so that means we have a denominator. And we have two zeros in our denominator, and it's three per 100. Now, to convert that to a decimal, remember, if you have two zeros in your denominator, it means you must have two decimal place values in your decimal representation. So we have three, we move the decimal two places to the left, and we get 0 0.03, which represents three hundredths. That's three percent. Okay, therefore, to change a percent to a decimal, move the decimal left two times since we are dividing by 100. Remember that. So, to go from a percent to a decimal, move it to the left, to the left, two times. To change a decimal to a percent, move the decimal right two times. So decimal to a percent, you move right two times since we are actually multiplying by 100. Remember, 3% means 3 divided by 100. And that's how you get 3 hundredths. But to go from the decimal back to the percent, you don't divide by 100, you have to multiply by 100. So here's 3 hundredths. Move the decimal two places to the right, multiplying by 100, and you get 3%. The percent tells you 3 per 100. Okay, here's 3 hundredths times 100. That's 3 hundredths times 100, and notice the hundreds cancel out, and you end up with 3. But because you multiplied by 100, we call it 3%. There you go. Write each percent as a decimal and a reduced fraction. So here, we are going to convert percents to decimals and to fractions. Let's start with 13%. Well, that's 13. We move it two places to the left, and we get 0 0.13 or 13 hundredths. Now, when you write out 13%, there is no decimal there, right? When you write the number 13, the whole number 13, it's assumed that the decimal is right there to the right of the ones place. So if you see 13% and there's no decimal, people get confused. Where's the decimal at? It's implied to be right to the right of that 3. So that's why when we move it to the left two times, we get 0 0.13. To write it as a fraction, we simply put 13 over 100, and 13 hundredths, there's our fraction. 120%. Now again, you do not see a decimal there. It's understood that it's to the right of that zero. So when we move it two places to the left, we get 1.20, and that's our answer. Is the zero required there? I mean, the rightmost zero in 1.20. You could write your answer as 1.2, and that would be fine. Now for the fraction representation, we put 120 over 100, and we can now reduce that fraction. It is an improper fraction because the numerator is larger than the denominator, and so we divide out a factor of 20, and we get 6 fifths for our answer. Here we have 17.5%, so there it's obvious where the decimal point is. It's right between the 7 and the 5. So if we move it two places to the left, we get 0.175, and we always put a zero in front just because it looks cool. So our answer is 0 0.175. To write it as a fraction, we put 17.5 over 100, but we have to clear out that decimal. We don't leave decimals when we write fractions. So we multiply top and bottom by 10, and we get 175 over 1,000. Remember, multiplying a decimal number by 10 moves the decimal one place to the right. So 17.5 times 10 becomes 175. Now the 100 in the denominator, the 100, remember the decimal 
is to the right of that rightmost zero. And when you multiply by 10, you move the decimal one place to the right, and you need that placeholder. That's why you put the zero there. Now, we need to reduce our fraction. 175 and 1,000 have a common factor of 25. When we divide that out, we end up with 7 over 40, and that is our reduced fraction there. Okay, now let's write each quantity as a percent. Here we're given a decimal quantity. Now, to convert a decimal to a percent, remember, you multiply by 100. In other words, you move the decimal place two places to the right. And so 25 hundredths, or 0.25, becomes 25%. It's that easy. It's so easy, it's confusing. Here we have 1.374. This is a whole number, right? It's a mixed number, because you have a whole number part and a decimal or fractional part. Again, we move the decimal two places to the right. We get 137 0.4%. And that is your answer there. Here we have 5 eighths. Now, how do we convert a fraction to a percent? Well, we first have to convert the fraction to a decimal. And to do that, we have to take 8 and divide it into 5. Or if you have your calculator out, Charlie, what's 5 divided by 8? 0.625. Very nice. 0 0.625. And if we move the decimal two places to the right, which is multiplied by 100, we get 62.5 but since we multiplied by 100, we call it 62.5%. There you go. Here we have the number 2. Don't get scared. Remember, there's an implied decimal right to the right of that 2. Since we're converting to a percent, we need to move the decimal two places to the right. And so notice we get 2.00. We get 200. Because we moved the decimal two places to the right. We started with 2.00 and moved it two places to the right, and that's how we got the 200%. Notice, when we had two, our answer was 200%. Over here, we had 1.374, we got 137.4%. So when you start with numbers that are larger than one, you always end up with percents that are larger than 100. Here we have 713, so we've got to convert that to a decimal. But we need a calculator. Charlie, what's 7 divided by 13? And let's round our answer to the nearest 10 thousandths. That means four decimal places. What'd you get, Charlie? 0.5385. OK. And now, to convert that decimal to a percent, we move the decimal two places to the right, and we get 53.85%. Oh, what fun. It's time for a break. We'll see you again soon.